Hi there, this is Andrew Gray with Drive Away with Gray. Today I'd like to demonstrate the all new Android Auto system in this brand new 2016 Chevy Cruze. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Android Auto, but basically it's going to project your phone onto the infotainment center in this vehicle. Um, very simple to set up. All you need to do is download the Android Auto app from Google Play, and at that point, plug the vehicle or the phone in uh, or the device in into a USB connection into the vehicle. And at that point, I'll show you how we can play around. So in the vehicle, as you can see, Android Auto is now popped up on the infotainment center. So just by clicking the button, that's gonna access this uh, the system for us. So I'm going to uh, walk through a few things. Number one, I'm gonna show you the navigation system. So uh, Android Auto does use Google Maps. So it works the same way as your cell phone. Um, you can access uh, any recent places um, or saved um, addresses in your in your phone. Um, they can be retrieved from emails or text messages as well. Um, obviously the display looks identical to how it would look on your phone or tablet. Uh, it also gives you the same uh, feel and functionality as your phone where you can actually still pinch the phone or the screen on your car and expand and contract just the way you would uh, on, a, on your device at home. Um, if you're familiar using this device or this system, no problem uh, once you get in this car and start driving around to use your navigation program. Secondly, you do have your phone connection. Uh, obviously, you're going to have access to uh, anyone in your uh, database. Um, you're going to be able to pull up voicemail, um, uh, call history, missed calls, anything that you would be able to pull up on your phone as well. Uh, push button to phone somebody and as well as uh, text messaging. Really slick system. The center button would be your home button, so that's going to pull up some uh, information like local forecast, navigation, and uh, it may have some music stored on there at times as well. And then next, we do have our music uh, button here. So the media button is going to give you access to um, Spotify, Google Music, as well as other media that may be on your phone. Uh, right now, I do have Spotify pulled up. Um, nice thing about it, it does show the background. Uh, or the album cover in the background. Uh, you know, it's simple to use just like it was on your cell phone. You can access, uh, you know, music from your phone um, just the same way as you would if you were accessing it, uh, listening to music with a set of headphones. Um, very, very slick system. Uh, one thing I absolutely love, anyone who uh, uses these apps will uh, immediately uh, fall in love with using this system in their vehicle. And then obviously you have a home button. So the home button, if you're tired of using this Google uh, or the Android app, uh, Android Auto, just click that button and this gets you back to your home screen um, where you have access to a lot of the same features, just not quite as clean and not as quite as easy to use. Um, so we're really excited. This feature is in um, a lot of our vehicles right now in 2016. Um, I encourage you to come down and, and try it in person with your phone and, uh, and have a look to see what this system can really do. Uh, and, and again, we live in a world where driver safety awareness is very important. Um, this is one, one system that really takes the cell phone out of our hands and allows us to uh, concentrate on the road and still have access to all of our information. Thanks for joining us today on Driveway with Gray. Bye then.